I missed you guys. You guys here at Ask EVW. You guys that always send me the most heartwarming questions. I missed you guys. Why do you have kids in your closet? Did one of you guys make a sound while I was recording my last Ask EVW video? Oh, God damn it, Billy! You gotta keep quiet while I'm doing this, otherwise they're gonna know you're in there, you s- God, Billy! This time, shut up! I don't have kids in my closet. Have you ever seen people getting possessed? I am possessed. Be gone, demon, be gone! Get out of my body! Oh, please! Go. Oh, God, it's coming back! Be gone! By the name of Christ! I compel you to leave! Glad that's over with. I'm gonna go let those kids out of my closet now. <laughs> What's the funnest level in GD you've played? That's a good question. The most fun I level that I've played. <gasps> I mean, recently it was Future Funk. That was awesome. I also had a lot of fun with Cataclysm. Cataclysm is one of the hardest levels I've done, but I wasn't super frustrated with it. I, I was always enjoying the experience of doing it. So I gotta say Cataclysm is some of the most fun I've had with the game. That's true. I'm, tr I'm trying to think of like an easier level that I had a lot of fun with. I have a lot of fun with a lot of easy levels though. It's hard to say which one is like, what's the most fun I've had with a particular level, an easy level. Hmm. I mean, the JF ones I played recently were all like super fun, right? Uh, so yeah, I don't have like a most favorite. I have like a favorite demon, but just in terms of like, what's the most fun I've had? It's really hard to say. What's your address so I can steal your Minecraft diamonds? My address is North Pole, comma, North Pole 001285, comma, EVW. Do you drink or smoke? Not a hater. I drink socially. Uh, when I was younger, uh, when I was in university, I drank more than I do now. <laughs> but yeah, I drink socially sometimes. In South Korea, where I live, uh, there's a lot of drinking. There's just alcohol everywhere. It's one of the most countries in the world for alcohol consumption. And so it's hard to escape. Friends always want to just go out for a social drink. Quite frequently, I would add. But I don't go out super frequently. Not as frequently as other people do here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I still do drink sometimes, yeah. Do you respect potato players? You know what? I do not respect potato players because what they do is they play Geometry Dash on their potatoes and then when they're done with their potatoes, they eat the potatoes! And that's just cruel! I can't believe you eat them, those poor potatoes. What'd they ever do to you? What is the weirdest place you have mastered debated in? Um, I wasn't in the debate club when I was in high school. Um, so I don't know. I, I think I've debated with my friends before though on some certain political topics. Um, but I'm not too sure if I've debated with them in a weird place or not. Maybe on a subway one time I was debating with someone. I think that's about it though. How many times do you master debate every day? I only debate my friends sometimes. So I don't know. I can't really say. Uh, I don't do it every day, right? Can you do vlogs? I want to do more vlogs. Yes, I have footage from a couple of vlogs that I haven't even edited together. <laughs> that are from like nine months ago now. That was a long time ago. I should really get on that, shouldn't I? I'll still upload them because they're still like cool videos, you know? But I'll have to do a bit of an explanation like, oh, this was in the past because I was lazy and I didn't edit it. Can you do a house tour? Well, my house isn't really anything that special. It's just like this room, the office, then I have like a main room and a kitchen. It's, it's really nothing that special, you know? Korean places are pretty small. We do want to upgrade though. Now that I'm recently married, I want to upgrade to a bigger place. But we're deciding maybe next year we'll move and then we'll just save money until then and move to like a really nice place. We might even move back to Canada, actually. So I don't know. There's a lot of things up in the air right now. And this question was about a house tour and I'm talking about my life plans. Damn. Off topic, huh? Have you ever used Noclip? 
I have actually not touched Geometry Dash. I haven't modded it in any way whatsoever. Like, I still have the original GD on there with no sound effects that I've added, no practice music change. It's just the original GD. I, would, I wouldn't even know where to look to start modding it, so... I don't know. I'm pretty sure I could find out pretty easily, but I've never used any mods on GD whatsoever. I like to leave my games in their normal state. I'm not a big fan of modding. I can understand like modding it to make it look better or or modding it, uh, modding like a bigger game like Fallout or Skyrim to put some like funny or cool things in there. But for GD, because for me, GD is just like the levels itself. I don't care about how it looks other than the levels that I play. So for me, modding it just... I've just had no interest, right? Do you miss Tim Hortons? I do. I love Tim Hortons. I used to drink coffee at Tim Hortons almost every day. <laughs> I was addicted to that coffee, although now that I'm not addicted to it because I don't live there anymore, maybe it wouldn't taste as good. I don't know. But I would certainly be on board with re-addicting myself to Tim Hortons coffee. As another Canadian, I was wondering what you think about American stereotypes of Canadians. To be honest, there are people in every country that stereotype other countries. There's a lot of Canadian people that stereotype Americans as well as being like rude, right? So I gotta say, I don't know. I don't really have an opinion of it. Just people stereotype. That's it's just a part of the world, right? I mean, personally, I try not to stereotype. I feel because I've lived overseas, I've learned to be more open-minded, right? And so I don't stereotype a certain group of people. It's impossible to get around. There are stereotypes of any kind of people. And I did, you know what? As a Canadian, always having lived in Canada, I didn't even realize a lot of these stereotypes existed. Like, I tell Korean people, I'm like, hey, I'm from Canada. And they're like, oh, wow, you must be a super nice guy and well-mannered. And how about that maple syrup? Do you like that maple syrup? And I'm like, holy shit, I'm Canadian, aren't I? <laughs> and like, I never, I never felt Canadian in Canada. Never felt that way whatsoever. Didn't have much national pride. I mean, I do I do a bit now, but like a little bit, not too much. I think national pride is it can be a dangerous thing. But yeah, uh, like as soon as I moved to Korea, I was like, okay, wow, I'm, I'm a Canadian stereotype now. <laughs> Interesting. How often do you fart? I don't keep track, but I consider myself a fart connoisseur. Like before I fart, I actually know if it's gonna smell bad or not. I'm like, oh, this one's like, it's not bad, guys. Don't worry. Might make a sound, but don't be startled. Like, you can still be in my general vicinity. But sometimes I know it's gonna be bad. And in which case, I don't warn people. I just do it and I say, hey, I need to show you something. Can you, can you come over here? So how's it going? Do you, ah, oh, yeah. Okay, I only do that to my wife. If it's someone else, I don't do it. But she does it to me now. Because I started doing it to her. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> what have I started? I like the competitive nature of it though. But honestly, like, she... She's learning her farts pretty well now too. She knows when it's a bad one and she... She's pretty stealthy about it. Is it weird to talk to a camera? I just imagine that all the subs are crammed into the camera and they're just little midgets and I'm just talking to them. I'm like, hey guys, how's it going? And you guys are like, blah, 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 all answering me with your squeaky little voices because you're all super small and in my camera. And then it makes it a whole lot less weird. Is it safe to ask EVW? Will he actually give me a helpful answer? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> How many video games do you have? A lot. Too many. I probably have like over 500. <laughs> well, you know, from all the way back from the original Nintendo up until now, I have like almost all the consoles. Minus a few, a couple of the big ones I don't have, like an Xbox One and a Sega Saturn. Do you still watch anime sometimes or do you not have the time? If you don't, you're missing out on a lot of good stuff. I don't have time to watch a lot of anime, no. I want to make more time though. I've been thinking about it. I got a Crunchyroll subscription recently so that I can watch more anime. And I'm gonna watch Darling in the Franks first. I hear it's really good from this season, but I have a lot of catching up to do. I used to watch a lot of anime up until about 2009. Up until 2009, I was watching all, like most of the big series that were coming out, right? I was watching a ton of stuff and then I stopped and then I was just watching it sparingly. Just here and there, I'd watch a series, you know? Not a whole lot, you know, I'd 
just watch like monster over the course of like three months you know because it's like 70 something episodes or you know i watched the you know mushishi I, i've watched i watch about one series every two months i'll say so you know there's still a lot of stuff that i have to catch up on but i watch uh i watch a bit but most of it's just like catching up on the really good anime that I'd heard about like after I stopped. Like the post 2009 to like 2013 era of like the great anime that came out then. I catch up on that stuff. And then a lot of the new stuff and the seasonal anime that people are always watching these days. I have no idea what's good and what's not. So I gotta kinda, I gotta dig in and just spend a week. Maybe I should just pre-make a bunch of videos for a week. And then just like have an anime week and just nerd out and watch like four series, four or five. It's a good idea. Might just do that. What would you rather do? Restart GD or restart your channel? That's easy. Restart GD. Restarting the channel, that's like my YouTube career flushed down the toilet. Restarting GD, I can restart that and it's not that big of a deal, right? Uh, unless you mean restart it from scratch like all of my skills. Even then though, I would still rather restart GD than restart the YouTube channel because I think there's more know-how that's gone into my YouTube channel than there has been into my GD playing. I've put many more man hours into the YouTube channel than GD 100%. Have you ever messed up while teaching students? That's a good question. And in any profession that you do, you're always gonna make mistakes. But the important thing is to learn from the mistakes and to move on quickly. Like, especially if I make a mistake when I'm teaching, I can't dwell on that mistake because I'm in the middle of a class and I have to move on and push the class along, right? So if you make a mistake, well, how should I say it? I'm, I'm good at making a mistake and then quickly resolving it and moving on quickly. And that's a really good skill to have, I guess, not just in teaching, but in a lot of professions, right? If you dwell on the mistakes, then you're never going to move forward. So making mistakes, I think, is not a, not a big deal. It's all about how you deal with the mistake, right? So yeah, I've made mistakes. I've said things in Korean that I, that I shouldn't have said. I've uh, I've done some activities that I regret doing because they just weren't good activities. They weren't very engaging for the students. I make mistakes all the time, but I learn from the mistakes and I've become a better teacher for it. What are your thoughts on people who break stuff just because they died at Geometry Dash? I broke my controller once because I was playing Street Fighter 4 online and I, someone was doing some cheap maneuvers, doing the same thing over and over again, and for some reason I just couldn't punish him. And so I got really angry, and I threw my controller, and I didn't mean to break it, I just meant to throw it on my bed, but it bounced up from my bed and like smashed the wall and the shoulder button flew off. Ever since then, I've never done anything like that, I've always been really careful with my devices, but I can understand why people do that. I think most people that break something, they break one thing and then they learn their lesson and they're able to control their rage a little bit more, but everyone needs to go through that breaking process of at least breaking something out of rage from dying in a game, but then they never do it ever again. At least I hope so. What would you do if Geometry Dash was in real life? I would go I hit a spike, my life is over and I'm gonna die forever! Ah!